Louisiana Beer Reviews, Harpoons, The Long Thaw, White IPA. According to the Harpoon website, this beer was introduced in 2012. They don't say anything about the malts or the hops, but they do say they add orange peel and coriander. Yeah, I know, a spice beer, which I hate. But anyway, maybe I won't hate it. Sold from January to March. Brewed in New England. I don't really hate flavored beers. I just don't like them. Because I think you should be able to make a beer good enough without putting flavor in it. But anyway, that's the cat's meow these days. Don't see any kind of smoke. I have enjoyed, I bought this at Stein's Deli by the way, it was $1.59 for the bottle. I have tried many Harpoon beers and I find that they're not the greatest, you know, they're good. I've never had one that I disliked. They're sort of ordinary, but I'll, I'll at, least, at least I'll say this. Yeah, they're ordinary, but they're not overpriced. I'm sick of trying beers that are maybe marginally better than Milwaukee's Best, if not really even better. Than that or natural ice but they cost three four five times the amount it makes me sick anyway let's go on with this beer review today here for you well thick pretty thick white head and a hazy yellow gold appearance and there's a lot of grit in there when I switched the bottom it put even a cloud a descending cloud which you might be able to see on video. All right, let's go with the aroma. Well, it does smell good. It's pungent, it's white bread, it's coriander, it's orange peel, all of those elements, it's hop oil. It's a very rich and inviting aroma. And I'm like I'm saying, I don't like flavored beers, but I'm reviewing this within the context of the flavored beer. <sighs> oh well, let's go with the flavor. Very, very citrus oriented. Just think of extremely bitter, tart citrus juice grapefruit for instance and maybe lemon some white bread for sure um, sweetness to the hilt a lot of bitterness um, they're saying 6.2 um, percent alcohol don't pick up any alcohol 45 IBUs it seems about right Introduced in 2012, uh, gets a very good score on Beer Advocate. The bros say outstanding, uh, but there's only two ratings on Rate Beer, which is strange, but only two ratings, not enough to even talk about. But uh, nice lacing around here. Um, the mouthfeel is, well, it's light. It's sort of watery. You pick up a little tap water, too, by the way. Wheat beers, tap water. The finish is not really dry. No, it's more like wet. And it is refreshing here at 8.30 in the morning. And the drinkability is super duper. Um, Harpoon is similar to Abita, Shiner, uh, Magic Hat in that their beers are not overwhelmingly good, they're not really remarkable, but they're satisfying, especially when you consider or when you factor in the price, because their, their uh, beers are really not too expensive for the six pack, the singles are cheap, you know, relatively cheap to do a sample, um, and they usually don't have any off beers or beers that are too harsh or or undrinkable or anything like that. So uh, 
I could mention Mendocino, but I won't because some of their beers are off. <laughs> they do have <laughs> bad taste. Same thing with um, the Lobotomy Bach, you know, what's the name of that company? Um, they put out some foul stuff, but, uh, but they're similar in their price range. Um, Oh, Indian Wells, that's what I'm thinking of. They're a little more expensive, but you're getting inferior product. Uh, so, um, these beers are good because they kind of introduce people to the craft beer market. They're not ultra, you know, deep speculative beers. Um, they're not super gourmet. Um, but on the other hand, they're usually pretty enjoyable, kind of nice, and... Uh, something to drink, <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, I'm glad I tried it. I mean, it's not anything fabulous. Certainly not bad um, in any way. So what do you say about a beer that's pretty much all upside and no downside? Well, you you have to give it a high score. Um, I don't know what else to say. I'll give it I'll give it an A minus. It's excellent to the lower end of excellent, but I mean, hey, if, if you're at the lower end of excellent, that's like kind of like winning a gold medal, and um, can't complain about that. I like it. It's got a really nice um, bitterness, like real mellow copacetic bitterness. Definitely, definitely a winner. Uh, like I said, not overwhelmingly great, but certainly good. Anybody says this beer is bad, it's cuckoo. <laughs> so, les et les bon temps roulés, this is an accept, acceptably excellent beer, if that makes any kind of sense. And I think you'll you understand what I'm saying. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans!